Hello, lovies, and welcome back. This is the part of the video that you all normally don't get to see where we're having to measure and remeasure and measure again because oftentimes when the builder is building the house, they don't build the wall straight. And that's what I experienced here. So I've had to cut and recut and measure and remeasure again. And that is also why you see things propped up. But I just wanted you all to see what makes everything come together. But loveys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. But also stay tuned to the end of the video so that you can see end screens of others of my videos. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, lovey, so now I'm getting ready to go ahead and attach these pieces together. I've gotten a piece of MDF cut, so now I'm getting ready to nail it to the base. These are the rods that I'm using that I ordered from Home Depot. Okay, loveys, I have gone ahead and constructed the base and I have placed that rod over there just to see how high I needed to um, have it up in order for my boots to actually be off the base. Loveys, I have had to give God all of his due because this time last year if you would have told me that i would be building a closet a custom closet at that i was in here shouting i really was when i came back in the closet and i looked and saw this i was a bit overwhelmed but let me what god is showing me is that the more that i do the more he shows me how to do. So when I hear people say, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do the things that you do, you will never learn if you never do. And I just want to admonish everyone who looks at this video to just get started. Do something, start with something, start with something small. When I first started, actually, actually before I got started on YouTube, I took and started really small, but I've always been creative. But the first thing that I can remember actually doing in this house, I'm going to go and get it. Loveys, this was my first DIY. And all of this came from Dollar Tree. I took one of their little succulent and the little grass that they sell in one of their little vases. And I did two of these and I placed them in my bathroom over by my tub area. This was my first DIY. If someone would have told me that I, when I started with this, I would end up with a custom built closet. 
I probably could not have imagined it at that time, but I would not have doubted that I could do it. So levies, like I say, get started somewhere. And the more that you do, the more God will show you how to do. And the more you allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you, he will help you if you will listen to him. And the Holy Spirit is that little voice that talks to you and tell you, even when you're doing wrong, that's the Holy Spirit. So lovies, get started doing something somewhere and allow God to just blow your mind. I have gone ahead and I've painted my baseboard and my side pieces and the pieces that's going to hold the rod. So right now I'm getting ready to connect the pieces that are holding the rod and the rod itself. Okay, lovey, the first thing I'm getting ready to do is to go ahead and attach the rod to this here board. And I'm going to start by drilling a pilot hole with my drill bit. Just so that the screw can go in much easier. I'm getting ready to just add nails into these two pieces right here. Now I'm just getting ready to do the same thing to the other side. ready to do is to place a bar cross here and what I did was I went ahead and placed these pieces of wood right here and I'm just going to be laying this top across there and then I'm going to secure it by nailing it down already added some but it's it's not going anywhere I am now getting ready to add a piece across the top just like I did right there and the only difference is I won't be adding those little pieces of wood I'm going to actually nail the top down okay lovies we are top shelf 
right there is the ceiling. I'm just trying to show you all how I'm going to staple this down. And then I'm going to be using these corner braces. I'm going to be attaching probably one here and one on the end. I might put one in the middle. I'm not sure. But right now, I'm getting ready to nail some nails again. I don't have that before. Those were the nails going in. Right now, I'm getting ready to add these corner braces and I may not be able to use them. Simply because I think the nail is going, going to be sticking out right here, up under here. If it does, oh well, it just sticks out. Let's see. Maybe the only one y'all will be able to see because I'm going to need this room right here where the camera is. And my drill is almost too big to be up here. That's, I believe these are the corner braces that I'm going to be using. Unfortunately, you all would not be able to see any more of this, but this is what I'm doing, placing these corner braces up here. Loveys, check out part two of my DIY custom closet build. And it's not Ikea, baby. And I went up there almost to the ceiling. And I will be utilizing that little space right there also. Love you. I just went back in and painted the top portion of my wardrobe because I had... <laughs> I had taken this that top piece down and put it back up, took it down and put it back up so many times that when it was actually time for it to be up there on the right side, because I actually had painted it on the other side, but somehow when I put it back up, I didn't pay that much attention to it. So I just went in and finished painting it. And I still have to get to this area right here. It turned out to be gorgeous. Love you, so I just want to say that I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you all following my channel. I appreciate you all checking out my videos and giving me words of encouragement. And I just want to say thank you. But most of all, I want to thank the Holy Spirit who leads and guides me at all times. And I want to thank God for having imparted all of this inside of me. And I want to thank Jesus for his love, his care, and his concern for all of us.
But lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys and I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. I love you guys and as always in parting, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed.